Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakafarash. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the world and to the men, the servants, the prophets, the brothers that are pushing this truth and pushing this truth and truth and sincerity throughout the four winds of the world. And to you, I say Shalom. I'm going to entitle this lesson, Our New Indestructible Bodies. All right. And that's what we're going to receive. All right. The elect first. All right. And the two thirds when, when they come into the kingdom of heaven. All right. These new bodies. All right. This is one of the many perks of the kingdom of heaven. All right. Not getting sick. All right. This, our bodies are going to be indestructible. We won't get sick. We won't break bones. We won't, um, you know, have diabetes and, you know, illnesses and, and, and uh, ain't going to be no COVID-19 and none of that shit. All right. Because we're going to be perfect. All right. And why are we going to be perfect? Because we're going to have the law, statutes and commandments written in us. That's what makes us perfect. OK, not anything else. Not because we're going to be able to go to the gym and, 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 and run a mile in less than four minutes or whatever. It ain't going to be none of that. It's going to be the law that's going to make us perfect. But we're going to have these indestructible bodies because the law, statutes and commandments are going to be dwelling in us. All right. The, 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 the um. That's what's going to make us pure. That's what's going to make us indestructible. That's, you know, that that's what's going to keep us, uh, uh, um, you know, from sinning because we can't sin. All right. And that's what keeps us ill and sick now. All right. Where our bodies break down. All right. And, you know, and I was just contemplating on this. It's like, I don't care who you are. All right. Whether you're a young man, you're older, you, you got aches and pains, you get sick. You got allergies. It's something wrong with you, especially if you're an Israelite, because we're under the curses. All right. And and, and under those curses, hey, that was one of the curses that, you know, we would. Um, let me get it. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 35. And it reads, um, the Lord shall smite. That the in the knees and in the legs with so with a sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. You look up this word botch, it means boils. It boils um where's the word? Sore botch. Um, boil, inflamed spot, inflammation. Okay, so you know those are part of those infirmities that we get. You know, uh, uh, you know, sore knees. All right, you get older. You know, you get you get sore eat, sore sore knees. You know, sore back. You ain't you can't tell you tell me you don't know a Jake out there that ain't got a fucked up back. Okay, male or female. Okay, but these are the these these are the consequences of us going off as a nation, of us not following the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, and, and the Lord dropped the um uh the life expectancy to us 120 years. All right, after he saw how wicked Jake was. All right, so we don't even we can't even live as long as we're supposed to live because of 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 our iniquities. All right, because we didn't hearken unto the words of the Lord. This is um, Deuteronomy, jump up the verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the Lord, unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments and statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that's what took place. We we die. All right, we get sick. All right, we break bones. All right, we we become frail and fragile, and, and, and you know our bodies break down because we sin. OK. And, and, and what are the wages of wages of um, what is it? Wages of death are is sin. Let me see. No, I put it down somewhere. Um, it's Romans six. Yeah, the wages of death, wages of sin is death. 
All right, Romans 6 and 23. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'll just read 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, our Lord. And that's how we're going to get eternal life. That's how we're going to get those indestructible bodies. All right, through um, Yahweh Shah. All right, where, where we're going to be married back to the Heavenly Father. All right, where we're not going to sin again. All right, he and he's he's that sacrifice that's making making this possible. All right, because we all should be put to death. All right, we all have fall, fallen short of the glory, but the Lord is given a chance to um, given a chance for us to be redeemed back. All right, and that remnant is going to be saved, and that remnant is going to receive those new bodies first. Okay, where we're going to be able to run. Well, the scripture says, "Run without fainting." All right, uh, he that is feeble amongst you shall be as, as as King David. All right, all these things are going to come to pass. And, and this, like I said, this is one of the many perks of the kingdom that we're going to appreciate. All right, it ain't a day that I don't get out of bed where I'm like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm aching or I'm sore. You know, it's just, you, we just fucked up here. All right, that's so, as plain as we can put it, as plain as I can put it. All right, and even the Jakes that, 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 that are in tip top shape, they, they still, got some type of aches and pains. The ones that are, are uh, you know, play sports and stuff, are professional athletes, all right, their bodies break down over time, okay? Michael Jordan didn't stay in his prime forever, all right? He's a he's, he's an older man now, and he can't do, he can't do even half the things he did when he was a young man. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're, 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 we're that, that, that youthful, that youthful age, that youthful strength that we have, we're going to have it forever. It's going to be mightier. All right, and it won't be taken away from us because, like I said, we'll, we'll never sin. We'll never go off. All right, um, but like I said, we fail. We fail. Um, we fail from our first estate. All right, um, this is Second uh, Peter two and um, four. For if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell. And we're in hell right now. Hell is not a, a place where you burn forever. All right. It, it's, it's, it's not that, that Christian dog, dogma that they push. Are you going to burn in hell? Hell is a condition. And we're in a hellish condition right now. All right. We're, 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 the, we're at the bottom. All right. Uh, we get infirmities. We get sick. We, you know, our, our family members die of all kinds of diseases, heart disease, liver disease, all types of shit. Okay. We, we, this is, this is hell for us. Okay. I'll start at the top for most high spare, not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Okay. And we're in these chains of darkness right now. These, these bodies. All right. Where, where we catch, like I said, we, we, we catch infirmities. We, you know, we, 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 we get sick. All right. You know, uh, um, we, we bruise all, all, all these things are, are, you know, and, and we, we, we feel the pain of that through these chains of darkness. Okay, we ain't gonna be no more pain in the kingdom, all right? Because, like I said, we're not gonna sin. We're, we're gonna be in that second covenant, all right? Let me grab this. And, um, Psalms 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, all right? And, and we're, we're lower gods, all right? Of course, you got the most high, your house shy. And, and, and the Israelites, we're, we're going to be as gods in the kingdom, all right? I have said ye are gods, lowercase gods, all right? Not 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 uppercase, all right? You know, Jake, Jake, get, you know, Jake don't know the difference, all right? Yes, we are, we're going to be gods uh, uh, um, in the kingdom of heaven, all right? But not, like I said, not gods like the Most High in Yahweh Shai. I said ye are gods. And all of you, all of you are children of the most high, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Okay. O rise, O power, judge the earth, for thou shall inherit all nations. Okay. That's speaking of in the kingdom, but we're going to, we, we, in, we, we, um, we're as gods, but we die. We die now because like I said, we sinned. We, we went off. All right. We are those angels. Let me get that in Jude. Um, that 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 fell from their first estate. Um, where is it? Uh, yeah, Jude one and six. The angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own inhabitation, he have reserved in everlasting chains under darkness, 
unto the judgment of the great day. Okay, so hey, we were those angels that that we 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 um didn't keep our first estate. All right, we we fail. All right, therefore you know we sin and, and we were putting these chains of darkness, and you know we die. All right, but we're like I said, we're not going to sin and we're not going to die anymore because we're going to have that 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 um that that everlasting covenant with the with only Israel in us. All right, we're going to be born. Our children are going to be born with the law, statutes, and commandments written in us. This is um, Hebrews 8 and 7. For if, if, for if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, and I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. That's the northern and the southern kingdom. Okay? And finding fault with who? The Israelites. All right, because the, the law was good. The law was perfect. It was the it was the people. It was us as a nation that um that went off. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them out of the land. Excuse me, took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in my covenant and regarded them and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be, be to me a people. And, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the eat from the least to the greatest. All right, so the Israelites are going to be perfect. The heathen nations, the Edomites, the, 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 the Hamites, all these heathen nations, they're still going to be the same. All right, they're still going to get sick. They're still going to uh, um, you know, they, they, they're still going to be who, who they are now, but, but in a lower condition because we're going to be that much greater than all these nations, okay? So, you know, people people don't realize, you know, they think that, you know, like we speak of the kingdom of heaven, it's, you know, up in the heavens, up in the, uh, up in the spiritual realm. No, the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth, all right, where we're going to be a perfect nation, okay? We're going to be, we're, we're going to be perfect in the eyes of the Lord. All right, the, the the Lord is 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 will never look at us with 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 disdain again. Will never, you know, we won't be a a, a, a smoke in the Lord's nose again once we get in the kingdom of heaven because we're going to be perfect. All right, and being perfect, we'll have those perfect bodies. All right. Um, let me grab um, let me grab this Isaiah forty. And verse 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We're going to get renewed strength, all right, strength that we never had before. They shall mount up with wing, excuse me, mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So we're going to be like Superman, okay? We're going to be able to fly. We're going to be able to run without getting tired. We're going to be able to do any and everything we want, Okay. Because we're going to be perfect, all right? Because the Lord, is going, the Lord is going to make us perfect. He's perfecting us now, all right? And and it's only a matter of time when he, when he you know, when the elect are beamed up and we get those uh, those new bodies, all right? Because flesh and blood can't make it into those chariots, all right? Because, because the the um, the power of those laws, statutes, and commandments written in us, these, these bodies, these frail bodies can't, can't, can't uh, compose it, Okay? Uh, this is uh, Philippians chapter three and verse twenty. For our conversation, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, our the Lord Yahweh Mashiach, who shall change our vile body, that is, that is that it may be fashioned like unto His glorious body, according to the working whereby He is able even to subdue all things unto Himself. Or the Lord is going to change our vile bodies. All right, unto his glorious body. And we're going to be like unto the Most High. Excuse me, excuse me. Not unto the Most High, like unto Yahweh Shah. Okay. Um, let me grab this, 1 Corinthians uh, 15. And I'm going to start at 49 and read all the way down. Um, let me see. Yeah, I started at 49. And we have borne the image of the earthy we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. 
Okay, hey, we, we got we have the earthly vessels right now. Okay, but we're gonna get the the, the bear the image of the heavenly. We're gonna have these heavenly glorious bodies. Now I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither do of corrupt inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. We're going to be changed, all right? <laughs> our bodies are going to be changed. Our minds, our hearts are going to be changed, okay? Um, I should like your words. Oh, yeah. Uh, verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at that last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed, all right, the the the, the dead, because we were, you know, we were once, we were once, we were once, um, <clears throat> we, we were once dead when we weren't, we, we, when we didn't have the spirit of the Lord, all right, and we're being quickened right now with his spirit, being quickened meaning made alive, okay, but we're, you know, that 144,000 are going to be raised, um, like it says, incorruptible. And, and we're going to be changed because, the, like I said, these 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 bodies, these earthly vessels can't go up into those chariots. All right. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. We're going to be uh, immortal. OK. For when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall we be brought to pass. Then shall then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. All right, because we're, gonna, we're not going to sin anymore. So we, we're going to overcome death like our Lord Yahweh Shai did. And the strength of sin is the law. We're, like I said, we're going to have those laws written in us. All right, and that's, that's going to be our strength. That's going to that's going to uh, uh, um, fend away, you know, all all um, all disease, all, all you know, everything, you know, everything that that, that kills our bodies. This the, the 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 strength of the law is going to fend it away. All right, what was I at? But but thanks be to the Most High who giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, um, I got a few more verses I want to hit. Um. Psalms 103 and 5. And it reads, Who satisfieth the mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? That's that's the most high. Okay, he's going to, you know, our, our strength is going to re, be renewed at, at, like, like the eagles. Okay, we're going to have renewed strength. We're going to have, you know, uh, like I said, strength that is, you know, that, 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 Jake don't even got, even the strongest Jake in the world don't even got the strength that we're going to have in, in, in the kingdom, okay? Um, one last verse, Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as the most high, as the angels of the Lord before them, and, and and he, David was probably the, you know, greatest warrior in, in, in the ancient world ever. Okay, man, he's going to make the feeble uh, among us. All right, feeble. What is feeble? Lacking strength, especially as a result of age or illness. That's us. Hey, all Jake is all Jake is feeble. I don't give a shit how many days you spend in the gym. You're you're feeble. All right, because like I said, we sin, we go off. All right, especially as a result of age and illness, we get sick. A nigga can go to the gym every every day of the year. All right, and 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 shit, get COVID and, and die in a week. All right, so it, the physical strength don't mean nothing. All right, we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, he's our strength. All right, he's our shield and buckler. He's you know uh, uh, who we who we who we're gonna lean on in, in that day. All right. And we're going to get those new bodies, those indestructible bodies, where you know we won't we won't get sick, we won't break bones, because we'll never go off. We'll, we'll we'll be perfect. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto you. How about Shimi? How shy? Until next time, I say shalom.